Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to another video. And today's video, what I want to do is a good old classic commentary, but not necessarily like a modern commentary. I'm talking about like the old school Call of Duty commentaries, and goddamn, does this feel good to make? Because this is the stuff that I grew up with. This was the stuff that I ended up watching a lot of the time when I was in high school, and even in middle school when I was first, honestly, like getting into video games, like in terms of Xbox and like playing live with other people. Like that was just so crazy to me back in the day. Because I'm an online player only from the recent years. I actually used to be a guy back when there was no online. So it's just kind of funny to think. But anyways, enough with that. I actually want to get just straight into the video while I have most of your guys' attention because you know when it comes to this topic. It might not necessarily resonate with everyone, so I want to make sure that I end up getting you guys hooked and understand why I feel like everyone should care about it, so let me explain. So, when it comes to video games, we all have a retrospective fan favorite things, right? Obviously, we're going to like things that are a part of our childhood, stuff that we experience, things that na naturally we enjoy. And sometimes it's hard for people to convey that interest or even get someone else interested in what you like as well. And so, I want to share my interest with others and try to propose something. So, what I wanted to do over the nostalgic gameplay of just playing Modern Warfare 2 on IW4X, what I want to talk about is why we as a community of band of gamers, no matter who you are, no matter what game it is, it just happens to be Call of Duty as an example, but we should revive old games. So when we end up having a lot of our games, unless we're playing on PC, eventually, inevitably, we will end up like abandoning our consoles, abandoning our games, and be moving on because we all want to play be better and bigger things. And that's completely fine, but I've never been the type of guy to get rid of my stuff, especially stuff that I truly cherish, and that is me for gaming. Like, yeah, of course I've gotten rid of, like, all my old toys. I'm not a hoarder. Like, I didn't have, like, my teddy bear from when I was, like, five years old. Of course I can move on from things. But video games is an example of things that I like to keep, and I don't really have a easy way with parting is something that I want to talk about. Because some people I've seen, and it breaks my heart, to see them get rid of their old console or handhelds or games or controllers or something like that when they really don't even truly want to they're just trying to get like a, a you know an extra thing of money and then they're like oh crap why did i do that and now their memory box or their console something that they played so much is just gone and like it's sad it's it's really really sad and i look at my console like a giant box of memories every single one of them even the new ones and the old ones and I have enjoyed going back recently over the last few months during the quarantine and intentionally buying old retro video game consoles and their games because I pretty much played everything during quarantine, you have no idea, and I want to end up having something new. So I was like, I love video games and I actually enjoy the cult classics. So I bought myself everything from now all the way down to the original N Nintendo Entertainment System, the original Nintendo from the 80s. And I've enjoyed every moment of it. And I'm pretty sure that, you know, some people might not go back that far, but some of you guys may or may not end up being nostalgic on, like, let's say, the Xbox 360, or the PlayStation 3, or even farther back. And hell, some people are even going to start being nostalgic for the Xbox One the PS4, even though it was just recently that those are not, no longer the new current-gen consoles. But it's going to be true. And what I want to end up asking you guys, and proposing the idea to you, is we should end up trying to keep these games alive. These consoles, these games, and everything. Because even games such as Halo on the Xbox 360 are finally starting to have their servers shut down, which honestly is the saddest thing ever for me, because I used to grow up on Halo alongside COD. Those were like my big two first online games, other than single player. And I love the Halo series, I really, really do. And it especially means a lot to me because Halo 4 in particular was a Christmas gift from my aunt who sadly passed away this year for, uh, you know, liver disease. 
And I am just, you know, very bummed out to see that I won't be able to play those games anymore. I'm sure I can relive them on the Master Chief Collection, but it's just not the same. And I really want to see these memories be able to be optional to me again. Because sometimes these games are literally not playable online anymore. And whether that be at the expense of the developers or whether they be expense of us, some people just don't play the games anymore. And some of these classic games are amazing. I love Fortnite, I love Overwatch, I love some of these modern games, and I will eventually look back on those with nostalgia. But Call of Duty, Halo, Battlefield, I mean, shit, you even have some of these classic games that are not even necessarily online. Like, you guys are old enough, if you guys are an okay boomer, and you guys remember these, who remembers the games on the GameCube? The original Nintendo, even if you go far back enough. Some of these old games that you feel like you're extremely old for being able to refer to. And I'm starting to feel old, the fact that even some of my games are starting to get unrecognized by people. Some people that are my age, you know, we're end up talking about all these games, and then we end up referring to some of these younger guys. Like, I'm only 21, and I refer to, a, like, a 13-year-old as, like, like, let's say a little kid, right? Because, obviously, the ga uh, age gap. But I'll be like, hey, dude, uh, you know, you should play this game. It's backwards compatible on this. And they're like, I don't know what that game is. Why the hell would I play that? And, like, obviously, like, this is, like, a Fortnite kid, somebody that's only got, like, one game they obsess over. But, to be honest, I understand. I've been in those predicaments myself. But it's just crazy to think that some of these games that are, like, from a couple months ago are just getting faded out. It's just really weird. And I want these games to end up having nice, long, prosperous lives is because video games should not die. They honestly should not. Unless you have a PC, unfortunately, a hardware, you know, device is eventually going to go bad. Hell, your, your PC could even go bad after a while. But Halo, Battlefield, Call of Duty, even the Nintendo games, even even single-player games, something that you don't even necessarily need to have online players to end up doing, I would just love to end up having these games being brought back. I have enjoyed the fact that developers have made some of these games that I thought that was going to flop, and people picked them up, and they were like, oh my god, that's amazing. Hell, that even happened to Among Us recently, guys. Like, that happened this year. Among Us came out in 2018, and the developers all of a sudden had their game blow up because somebody was just like, hey, let's play this game that's really old. This could be fun. It looks cute. And then all of a sudden, it becomes one of the most popular games in all, you know, the whole entire Twitch scene and YouTube scene. And that is just oh, astonishing. That makes me happy. I, I like having games with variety. I don't necessarily like playing only one game over and over again. Of course I do occasionally, but I like having the option. So whether you have a PlayStation, an Xbox, a Nintendo console, or even a PC, I propose that we end up doing a challenge where you have one game, a game that you absolutely adore, one that you would love to see come back, whether it be in the form of a remaster, or having the game coming back to life, or whatever have you. Take one game and either try to end up, in, I encourage you, whatever game it is, I don't even personally care, try to encourage that game to end up either being repopulated again on the old one or trying to get it remastered. Such as Modern Warfare 2, for example. I love Modern Warfare 2 despite it being buggy and I'm really glad I had the privilege to end up getting IW4X. But the fact is, though, is that this game, even on IW4X, does not have a strong enough player count to be sustainable. Sometimes I can only get certain lobbies even on this one. So, what I want to see is hopefully Remastered Modern for 2 multiplayer one day, and hopefully I can relive those memories just without the Painkiller Commando and the Noob Tubes. But yeah, guys, that's basically going to be it for today's video. Just a short, sweet, and simple, straight-to-the-point video. A PSA, if you will, talking about reliving nostalgia. Don't necessarily want to stay stuck in the past, but I would say respect it at the very least. And let's just try to have some fun with video games and not be limited to just, like, Fortnite. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I hope you ended up enjoying today's video. I hope you ended up enjoying seeing the gameplay. Let me know what video you would like to see next. And before we do wrap things up, I just want to give a shout-out to all my Patreon supporters. Thank you, Jake Squid. I greatly appreciate you, brother. Thank you. And I hope you guys end up enjoying another YouTube video from the most unique YouTuber you guys are ever going to see. Peace out, guys.